Now here's a question for you. Have you ever had a project that you've worked on or been part of that's gone horribly wrong? Maybe it's been over budget or over time, or maybe expectations from the start just weren't clear. It's my firm belief that this really shouldn't happen in today's day and age. We've got all of the processes and tools and know-how to make sure that software projects run very smoothly from the outset. I wanted to take a minute with you today just to share our process at Fluff and hopefully something that you can take away and apply to your own processes with the projects that you work on from now on. Now to get started, I want to cover our triple diamond process and this is at the heart of what we do. When working with an agency, quite often what is asked of an agency is to give us a quote, give us a proposal for this problem that we've got in mind. And quite often an agency will come back and say, here's the solution, let's go for it. The difficulty with that is, is that without proper pre-work and, and, deep, and, and deep work with both yourself and the, the agency that you're going to be working with, it's very hard for a company to come and propose a solution that they know is going to be right from the outset. It depends on what your business background is, what the users are going to be like, who's using the, the software internally, who's managing it, what your background is, where this fits in the wider picture. All of these questions and many, many more need answering before you can go and actually start development. Now, in this triple diamond approach, you can see that the ups and downs in the, the waves are very much kind of ideation. And what we like to do in the process is offer lots of opportunity for exploring different options. So when you get the research brief in at the very start, the first thing we do is widen the, the scope right up and look at every available opportunity. We really take the problem right back to basics and start to analyze it. And we come back in and then we go back out. And without this being done, what you end up with is at the start of development, either going off on the wrong track completely, or you start to have this exploration during development. It's almost the same as if you were to build a house and start the plans after you'd laid foundations. It just doesn't make sense. And this is what causes projects to grind to a halt mid-project, uh, leading to time being wasted, things going over budget over time, and expectations being lost along the way. Now, we're firm believers of taking a step back and, and working with a consultancy, consultancy like ourselves or other companies around to really get to the heart of the problem and make sure the solution that's going to be created for you is going to be the best one available. It should work within your current systems. It should be working within your budget that makes sense for, for that return on investment and time scales that make sense to you as well. Now, our approach takes that triple diamond setup that we've just seen and creates a very structured way of explore, exploring the problem space. So we use things like, like this, you can see here, this is a, a little snippet of one of our um, tools that we use to help facilitate the workshops that we, that we run. And these workshops, again, designed to go right back to basics, to really understand the whole foundation, get everyone who needs to be involved to be involved, and apply a really consultative lens on this. And what we aim to do with this is to really step back and um, provide that, that IT consultancy from the outset. We're, we're exploring the best solution together to make sure that we've got the best solution available on the table. And at the end of it, what you'll end up with is very much uh, these big pieces of the puzzle, which, which are often lost when you just ask for a quote or someone gives you a quote without that pre-work being done. Um, a proper technical plan that's been really well researched, thought through with all of the other things that you've got around you. Clarity over what's going to be delivered, what's really needed, you know, in what order. And that feeds through to a roadmap in terms of what's best to deliver when. Um, and leaning on an agile mindset of delivering small, early and often and really learning from your from your user base. And also project costs and budget is a big part of a proposal, but it's impossible sometimes to, to compare proposals that are so different from each other. Cost should really come from a place of your budget to begin with and really understanding how much is worth investing. It's pointless investing even £10 if you're not going to get that back. It's just a waste of everyone's time and money. So let's have a look at the, the entire project, what it's going to take to deliver that and whether it's worth the investment. I hope that what you've seen here today is that this pre-work is really a required step in any software development. And it does your project an injustice by not taking the time with a company to really go through the process of understanding deeply what the solution should be, not just what someone proposes that it should be without that right work. It's about setting up for success from the start and putting in that great foundation to ensure that the project will be delivered on time to budget and leaving everyone with a smile on their face at the end of it. If you'd like to learn any more, you can find it more on our website or of course I'd be delighted to speak to you. Thanks and have a great day.